The summer season was over, and the day the baby goats have been eagerly waiting for has finally arrived. Hooray! Today is the first day of school! I'm so excited to see my friends! Me too! The mother goat sent her cubs to school. While seven baby goats were walking on the school road, one of them suddenly stopped because he forgot something very important. I forgot my painting book. You go, my siblings. I will catch up with you. While the baby goat was on his way home alone, Big Bad Wolf Jack, who was always hungry, was looking for prey in the forest. Uh, this is too big. This is too small. I can't be full with it. This is too fast! I can't catch it! At this moment, the wolf was very happy when he saw the baby goat. Wow! A baby goat! My favorite! <laughs> to trick the baby goat and to get him off the road, the big bad wolf made two antennae from the branch of a tree and two wings from its large leaves. <laughs> I look like those cute butterflies who are friends with goats. Now let me trick that little goat and swallow him with a great appetite. The baby goat was about to enter the garden of the house, but he suddenly saw the big bad wolf in front of him. Huh? Y you You are the bad wolf Jack! Help! No, no! I am not a wolf. I'm a butterfly. Look, do wolves even have antennae like this? But, but you have a long tail. But I have big wings too. Yeah, you are a butterfly. Yeah, yeah. I'm the biggest butterfly in the forest. Where I live is a wonderful place. Come, I'll take you. But, well, I have school today. It's even better! We'll go right away and come back. Don't you want to have a nice adventure and tell your friends on the first day of school? Big Bad Wolf Jack and the baby goat were making their way deeper into the forest, while the other baby goats were painting in art class. But when one of the brothers turned his head, he saw that one of his brothers was not in his place. He hastily told his teacher, and they all started looking for the baby goat. Meanwhile, the baby goat who was following the wolf was asking him curious questions. Butterflies fly. Why are you walking? Can't butterflies like you fly? Bah? Yeah, but if I fly, there will be a storm. Now close your eyes and count slowly to three. Okay, one. Bad Wolf Jack tied himself to a tree branch by the waist with a thin rope. Two. And he started to shake himself from side to side. Three. When the baby goat opened his eyes, he saw the bad wolf flapping his wings right to left. Bah! You really can fly! But the branch, which could not carry the weight of the wolf, broke. And when the wolf fell to the ground, one of his wings flew away. Oh, your wing is broken! Let me go call for help! Bah! Wait! Haven't you ever seen one-winged butterflies? One-winged butterflies? Bah! They live hidden in places in the forest. Come on, follow me! <laughs> Bad Wolf Jack and Baby Goat came to a place in the forest full of bouncy leaves. The wolf climbed onto one of the bouncy leaves. He jumped, jumped, and flew into the air. The goat that was watching the wolf was fascinated by that. The bad wolf then came to the goat. He wanted to eat him right there. 
But at that moment, a crow flew and landed on the antenna on the wolf's head. Ah, a crow! Help! I don't like crows at all! Go! Hey! Go! The wolf shook his head quickly, and the crow took the antenna from his head and flew away. Ah! The crow took your antenna! So what's gonna happen now? There are also butterflies with one wing and one antenna, baby goat! What? Really? Yes! Let me take you to the cave where they live so you can see for yourself! Yeah, why not? Bah, I'm curious about them! Besides, whoever enters the cave learns to fly! What? I want to fly too! Very cool! Searching for the baby goat all over the forest, the siblings found a torn leaf and a broken branch on the ground. Ah, they plucked the leaf and cut the branch! Who would do this to the forest? Ah, ah. When the teacher saw the giant footprints on the ground, she immediately realized that the wolf did this and thought that the baby goat was in danger and made a plan to save it. Just then, as soon as the baby goat entered the den, Bad Wolf Jack took off his wing and antennae and threw them aside. The poor baby goat was so scared when he saw the wolf in front of him. Help! You are the big bad wolf! After a while, the teacher and the baby goats came to the wolf's den and hid in the two corners of the entrance. The teacher stretched the sticky thread she was using in the painting class to both ends of the cave. Then she asked the baby goats to dance in front of the den. <laughs> Hearing the voices of the goats, the wolf was immediately alert. Aha! There are more goats out there! I'll go and get them here too! The wolf wanted to jump on the goats, but got tangled in the sticky threads at the entrance of the den. And he revolved and disappeared into the woods. Help! Help! Thanks for saving me. I fell into the wolf's trap because I wanted to be a flying goat. You should always be yourself, little goat. Not compare yourself to anyone else. The baby goats returned to school together and continued their lessons with the excitement of the first day. Since that day, the baby goat has not been deceived by any trap because the information he learned at school made him more careful throughout his life. Adi se baba. <laughs>